Hi guys, it's Barry from Night in the White Water Sup. Okay, a um, couple of people have been asking me about body protection, uh, elbow, knee, pads, um, hats as well. So, you know, I just want to quickly go through some stuff. When I say quickly, it might take three or four minutes, might take a bit longer, so please bear with me. Okay, body protection, it's a personal choice. Um, I know there's a lot of debate on it um, throughout our community. Um, I'm getting older, so I tend to pad up a bit more than some of the youngsters because um, you know I'm, I don't mend as quickly. So again, f depending on how you feel and what you feel is appropriate, if it gives you confidence and it makes you perform better, well, that's the right thing. You know, if you fancy wearing a pair of Speedos and go and run a grade three rapid with lots of rocks on, fair game. Um, me personally, I want a bit of protection. So let's get on with it. Uh, I'm going to run through some products um, and just try to explain the differences. Okay, let's start with the elbows. Whacking the elbow on a rock, it's not nice and we do fall off and the instant protection is cover yourself up. So let's start with the decathlon special. Okay, and there's a lot of things on decathlon at the moment, so I won't go into it. Basic hard shell, okay. Goes on the elbow, protects the elbow cap, and Velcro's on. Okay, pretty cheap, nasty, but does give you a bit of protection. But when you swim, uh, they're all over the place and they do fall off. And one of the major things what I consider is if I want to protect my arms, I want to protect my elbow and my forearms because that's how I cover. So, yeah, it's acceptable, but if you're doing a bit more, go for a bit more. Okay, now you'll see sweet a lot. People are not in kayakers. Uh, Sweet's premier brand, a bit expensive, but does quite good. Uh, this has a special, um, it's called a 4D impact system. Um, it's a flexible material until you impact it and then it stiffens up. It does offer you uh, a bit more comfort. It covers your elbow quite nicely and it means it's quite free flowing, but still again, doesn't offer forearm protection uh, for me that's important okay so yeah personal choice still looks quite good doesn't look too bad but for me it doesn't offer you the right protection okay a couple of companies um, are doing elbow and forearm now 661 really good uh, mountain biking motorbiking brand they do one um, WRSI uh, is a kayakers brand so they're more designed for kayaking okay basically it slips over your dry suit or whatever you're wearing got some velcro straps what you can adjust um, and another one what goes around i won't fit it perfectly because it takes time but you'll get the idea so it's got hard shell on the outside and a softer uh, material on the in, in a bit give you a nice protection it's got this forearm protection so as you're banging off rocks you know that's protected as well nice big cup good straps and it's quite flexible and it's not that bulky and it's it's okay to swim with now the nice thing about this when you're wearing your dry suit you wear it like that but when you're wearing your wetsuit or you're going skins it's got a sleeve system. Can you see sleeve bit there? And you can wear it just straight onto a wetsuit. It gives it a bit more grip as well. Okay, um, I think they're around about 60, 70 quid. Uh, really good. Uh, WRSI is a kayakers brand. So keep an eye out on kayaking shops. Um, and we'll come into a couple more of them later. Right, leg protection. Well, we do dangle ourselves in the water quite a lot and we do fall onto our knees and fall forward. 
Um, so I tend to like leg protection. Again, you can get the cup. Um, I've just thrown it over there, the decathlon special. What gives you a bit of knee protection, but same again with the elbow pad. I like a bit more length to it. So uh, this is 661, uh, really good brand, uh, motorbiking and mountain biking. Okay, really good sort of cover. So it covers from literally your boot all the way up your shin to your kneecaps. This is what I was using for many years, um, as you can see by the state of them. And you know, when you dangle your legs in, you normally legs are behind the board, getting back on, all that impact from the rocks are taken on the shin and the knee. So really good. Uh, the downside with having the hard case, uh, I found I was slipping around on the board a bit more when I was in nil position or uh, prone position. Um, so I found them a bit clumsy and getting them to stay in the right place was a bit of a difficult. Uh, had to make some modifications. But they do give you a good protection and being slammed by rocks on the shins really does hurt. So uh, again, WSI, kayaking brand. Well, they started doing SUPS and joined up with a company called NRS and huge company out in the States, and they brought out a knee pad for SUPS. Okay, yes, someone's actually done something for SUP Pacific. All right, it's got that brilliant material, what, um, when it's impacted, stiffens up. It's got a nice material sheen over the top of it. Uh, that gives you a bit more grip when you're on the board, and also means it's more flexible. Okay, so it moves round with your body shape. Um, it's got this nice guard going down the shin and also it doesn't look like a stormtrooper. Okay, I get criticism every so often that I go out and I look like someone's going into World War Three. Okay, this, this sort of settles into your wetsuit a bit. Um, great material, bit, bit on the price size, I think they're around about 100, 110 pounds but well worth it if you're taking up SUP properly. Okay, a couple of impacts on your legs, you'll realize 100 quid and you're walking the day after or 30 pounds and you've got your shins all smacked up. Yeah, 100 quid's easy. All right, last but not least, my favorite. Um, people have named them thunder pants. I call them my protection pants. Okay, if you've ever fallen off a SUP, um, backwards normally, or you've taken impacts on snowboarding, you know your coccyx um, can really, really hurt and takes a long time to recover. So I've got my wonder pants. Now, most people call them impact shorts. Okay, um, got pads on the side to protect your hips and your thigh bit. Um, <laughs> got this wonderful looking pad on the back. This protects your coccyx. Now, if you've ever fallen onto a rock, um, yeah, it hurts, and I have, so I now wear these pretty much all the time I'm going on rivers. Okay, it's a personal choice how much protection you wear, uh, but I'd recommend looking at the river you're doing, working out how much time you're going to be in the water, and if there's lots of rocks around, put something on. Yeah, it's your choice, your decisions, but... Yeah, no one's going to criticism, um, criticize you on putting protection gear off. And if they do, well, yeah, when they get smacked by a big rock and uh, need treatment and you get smacked by a big rock and you don't, well, you can be smug about it. Right. Last but not least, the very political question, hats. Now, hats is a minefield. And I'm just going to show you three hats and try to explain my reasoning behind them and what I use them for. Okay, they're all very expensive hats. Sweet, again, is a premier brand, um, but as a kayaker um, and now as a white water supper, I want to protect my head with everything I can. So let's go on for the Sweet Strutter. It's a really funky hat and looks really cool. 
Um, I use this for my park and play stuff, white water cools, very simple, easy rapids, likelihood of falling off, none. Um, it looks good, it gives you a tiny bit of protection, um, but no ear protection at all, and not much back um, protection. Um, and the peak's handy, it knocks all the twigs out of your way when you're standing up, um, but yeah, it's good for home pier point and some of the other little runs. Truthfully, I don't wear it too much when I go supping. This is my baby, this is my go-to hat, this is my rocker, uh, also done by Sweet. It's got really good ear protection. It's um, a multi-layer impact protection. So this one is a composite version, but they do a, a thermal plastic version. Uh, get a decent hat, what gives you a good ear protection, good back of the head protection. Yes, the peak can come off if you don't want to be stylish, but I find it's quite handy knocking slalom poles out the way and the odd twig, and also gives you a bit of sunshade. But that's, yeah, that's my go-to hat. When I'm feeling really stupid and want to scare myself, and start doing things either with lots of rocks in or I'm frightened a bit. Yes, I do get frightened. Okay, my hat, what means that, is a full facer. Now, the good sides and downsides of full facers. Okay, as you can tell, very much like the rocker. Well, it is, just with uh, extra chin guard put on. Um, chin guards, well, it protects your face pretty much, um, protects your teeth, your chin, okay, and your jaw. Now, I've broken my jaw. Um, it hurts. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, so, if you see me on the river with this on, it's either means I'm having a bad day and not feeling 100% and just want to check my face. I'm either having a good day but I don't want to show people how good a day I have. It doesn't show my big smile. Or I'm doing something really, really stupid and I'm probably going to swim in a rocky condition. Okay, any of them things, I'm happy wearing it. But it does restrict some of your vision and it takes a while to get used to it. So it's a personal choice. Um, I favour full faces um more nowadays than i used to um but that's a personal choice for me um, a lot of my crew have full faces and when we go on real rivers where again shallow water a lot of them do wear them so anyway now i've taken up loads of your time i'm really sorry it's a bit boring but i just thought I had to post this so i'll see you soon cheers guys have a nice time on the river